Alright guys, here I am with one more ROM review. This is of Vicious My UI version 4.1 for the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. This is the GSM version. He also has a build for the uh, Verizon. You do get the custom, sorry I'm having problems there. You do get the custom toggles with My UI. You can swipe over for your notifications or you can just click it. You have my UI's custom task killer. Let's go menu. Let's go system settings. And I did just boot this up, so let's go to about phone. Make sure nothing. All right. So you can see this is Android 4.1.1, dual core 1.2 gigahertz. So it comes at stock. And my UI 2.8.24. This was just released actually a few hours ago. But as you can see right there, it's vicious my UI. Let's go back. Um, I'm not seeing any customization. Well, right here is under device, you have button. Long press menu to launch voice. Um, back key, long press back to kill app. I think that's pretty useful. Long press back to snapshot, disable on lock screen, and customize screen key position. So you can change the layout if you don't want the layout like that. Just say I wanted that up there. I wanted home right there. Well, or you can just turn that off and have three. But you could customize those to however you want them. Let's just go back. Um, let's go back one more. Let's go to storage. Oh, I guess battery. Add accounts. Status bar. That's kind of different. You can customize the uh, toggles. You can have them compact at the bottom for when you pull it down. You can customize the toggles position. Collapse after clicked. Customize status bar notification. It says loading. So you can customize each one. No notifications for successful for successful screenshots. There you go. Expandable under full screen. Um expand well, it's just expanded sound, display. Um under display you have launcher. That's different. Transition effects you can have a few actually. So this is the transition effects between home screens. I'll show you that when we get to there. You do get more. And that's pretty much it under settings. What comes included are up to the... Right there. You do get YouTube, Play Store, Gmail, Earth, Movie Studio, Play Movies, Playbooks, Navigation, Local, Ladder. I installed Titanium Backup through all the rest but you do get all these with it. One bug is that you do have to go into permission. This is the only bug, but you do have to go in here and you do have to manage root permission. So say titanium backup, because I needed to have root for it. Also Adway, I need to have root for it. So you, you just have to say, I trust this app and turn that on. That's it. Um, All the other apps work great that don't need root permission. But the ones that do need root permission, just check that on, and that's it. All other apps work great. You can see I have I have a few other homes installed because I use Apex. So I did back up Apex with Titanium Backup, and I restored it. Let's go to camera. It comes with the stock. Oh, flash is on. It comes with stock ICS, or gingerbread camera anyways. Let's go to menu. Let's go to launcher settings let's change the launcher to let's do cascading let's go back and this is cascading let's go back launcher settings uh, let's do page that looks pretty sweet I like that one so I'm going to keep that one. Let's go back to launcher settings. 
wallpaper scroll types by theme, center, left, right. So, and then you can also change the layout. So if you want four by five, and increase the space. Keep in, men keep in memory, and I don't know what just happened. Um, my UI home. Oh yeah, the home just kind of had to force close. Um, wait for this to load up, and now the icons are going to be in four by four instead of I mean four by five instead of the four by four. I have like over 200 apps, so but as you can see, there's five in a row now. I have over 200 apps, so it's gonna it takes a minute to load. So and also to add widgets, just long press on the screen. On press, there we go, and you can edit the screen. Comes with weather's. I don't remember weather. Let's check weather. Um, comes with music. Most of those are just from the apps I've installed. It says no weather data. So I click on it. It says locating. But other launchers do work. So if you don't like, um, like the My UI launcher, just click on another one. Like Apex Launcher. That a monster wallpaper and the icons went really well with it. See so how the tablet UI. So many apps. I think I have too many apps. I need to go through them and uninstall a few of them. But um, you do have more. Ah, so you can control the toggles that show up in there. I'm just going to go back to the My UI Home though, because that's kind of like the main part of this ROM. You have the custom themes. Well, let me show you guys the lock screen real quick. Here is the custom lock screen, where you go to camera, messages, phone call, and unlock it. I just downloaded the Angry Birds theme, because it was the first one. And because I, I thought it was just awesome, because it was Angry Birds. So you just download them, and then you, you can apply them right on the go. So it's kind of like Theme Chooser on like um, CM9, CM10, AOKP, like any ROM that has Theme Chooser. It's at 96%, 97, 97, 90, there we go. Go home, my UI home. But you can notice like the font change, well not font, but like the color changes, how it's green and it's got the black now, and also the menu button changed. So it's more like the regular Jelly Bean um, nav bar keys. Just load up for a minute, and there's a giant pig coming in from the top. So whenever you go to that home screen now, the giant pig comes in with the time. Uh, that's pretty cool. I like that. Let's check out the lock screen. And you do have the Angry Birds lock screen. And that's my battery time. I don't think it changes like any type of thing with like camera or anything. So no, it doesn't change stuff like that, but, whoa. Notice it does change stuff like that, though. Like, it just adds a little box around them. So, I mean, that's that's pretty cool. Anyways, I'll show you guys. I don't really get much there, but that was my review of the Vicious My UI version 4.1 for the GSM Galaxy Nexus.